There is a symbol of liveliness in the world of music, film, and entertainment, and her stories are evergreen in Hollywood. Today, we are to talk about the ever-gorgeous Lola Falana. We are not just going to talk about her life. We are going to talk about something that most people have forgotten today, and it's something that she did that became the reason why Lola was never allowed back in tonight's show. As the people who recognize her name know, Lola Falana's journey through the realms of music was nothing less than a fable. The world stole another star from the galaxy when Lola was born on September 11, 1942, in Camden, New Jersey. For those who don't know, Lola was an icon of unbelievable talent that stole the hearts of millions in the backdrop of the 20th century. She wasn't well off just like most of the black people of her time were, but it was all due to her hard work and passion that she broke out of all problems and the boundaries of a middle-class family. She worked hard to elevate the living standard of not just herself, but all of her family. She was just one little girl in the huge family of six siblings, but she did not let that become a hurdle for herself. It wasn't long before people started to realize just what kind of phenomenon she was going to be. People acknowledged her talent when she used to sing chores in the church, and when she moved like an angel with her beautiful dance steps. It was at his moment that Lola's mother Cleo realized that he may have been blessed by God himself to get out of this life. She started a gamble where she bet everything she had on Lola, and she started to take her to perform in nightclubs when she was just in junior high. She wished that people would like her, and that wish was granted tenfolds. Even though Lola had concerns about her family, she had already made a decision to go after her musical destiny, and this led her to leave high school so that she could pursue her dreams in New York City. Lola's rise to fame only happened because he miraculously caught the attention of legendary Dinah Washington and Sammy Davis Jr. Washington's recognition led to Lola's iconic debut as an opening act at a Philadelphia nightclub when she was just at the age of 16. She didn't stop there, and she joined the cast of Davis's Broadway musical, Golden Boy, which caused her career to explode. Lola's star ascended rapidly under Davis's mentorship, and she even signed with Mercury Records when the recording of her debut single, My Baby, was released in 1965. Her collaboration with Frank Sinatra's record label fixed her position in the music industry. But Lola wasn't the one who would stop at just that. She jumped into the world of cinema, and she made her debut in A Man Called Adam in 1966, alongside legends like Ossie Davis and Cicely Tyson. The reason that Lola is such a legendary artist is because she wasn't only recognized by a single national audience, she was an international celebrity. It was proven when she captivated Italian audiences with her singing and dancing, and that ended up earning her the title of The Black Venus. All of her performances in Hollywood gathered tons of support, but her performance in The Liberation of L.B. Jones made people go crazy over her, and she even got a Golden Globe nomination for that. It wasn't like she only dominated the film and music industry, no. She was a way bigger icon than you are thinking right now. Lola became a fashion icon, and she used to set trends with her distinctive style and grace. Her influence went way ahead of her time and even to the television. She became so famous that popular shows like The Tonight Show and The Muppet Show begged her to bless them with her appearance in the early days. Lola Falana's performances were not just events, they were powerful statements, each filled up with a series of styles that reflected the latest trends. Even except for the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Lola came forward as a woman of luxurious taste. The thing that most people forget is that her success was not handed to her on a silver platter, but she had to snatch it all with years of unwavering commitment, hard work, and an unshakable belief in her talents. In an industry where there was pressures and temptations at every corner, Lola stood resolute, and that was all guided by her faith and unwavering values. Her influence extended went way ahead of the entertainment world, which made her a true role model, especially for aspiring young black women who found a living embodiment of their aspirations in her very existence. But that doesn't mean she got by without her fair share of struggles. Lola became a beacon of inspiration when she overcame all the challenges of life and the industry with grace and authenticity. When Lola became a cultural icon, she didn't just change her own life, but the lives of millions of women all over the world. 
She shattered racial and gender barriers that had long constrained the performers because of their color. Her was a seismic shift and a declaration that challenged the already established norms, and she reshaped the very definition of what it truly meant to be a black woman in show business. This 1970s was an era that started the true rise of her fame. It was the period when her omnipresence was all over the billboards, magazine covers, television screens, and radio airwaves. Lola Falana became a symbol of entertainment. Her face was seen as the face of success and glamour. But it seems that fate gave her too much, and it was the time it started taking back what was hers. It happened at the pinnacle of her renown and success, a pivotal incident that ended up sending shockwaves through her devoted fan base and leaving a huge mark on her flawless journey. The start of her fall started when a mystery took place. Where is Lola? It was a question on everybody's faces when Lola Falana suddenly disappeared from The Tonight Show. You guys should know that The Tonight Show was more than just an entertainment program, rather it was a garden that grew celebrities. This garden was led and guided by the legendary Johnny Carson. It was such an honor when an invitation to this esteemed stage was granted to a celebrity. An invitation to The Tonight Show was like getting a permit that you are now a well-established celebrity in the industry. But a show so prestigious announced that they are going to ban Lola. It was a news worth gossip, all right, that someone like Lola Falana, who was a luminary of her time, was barred from the show. There are a lot of mysteries that are surrounding this topic. One theory suggested that it happened because there was a personal feud between them, and it was quite possible because it's not uncommon in the world of showbiz. Just like any other field, the entertainment industry is also inclined to, to clashes of egos and arguments. Did the great Johnny Carson himself fight with her directly? What is the true reason? Hang on tight because we will tell you all about it. The 1970s was a time when societal and political views often clashed with one another, and people with a stage to say something were not afraid to deliver their minds. We saw celebrities expressing their different distinct views, and someone like Lola Falana, who was a very influential figure, was no stranger to voicing her opinion. Maybe her different ideas of politics clashed with the ideas of the higher-ups, and that caused her to be taken care of. The thing is that it was very weird for women to be so strong in the 1970s, and this fact stung a few who embraced the misogynistic ideas. Well, what happened was a mystery, but we are here to uncover it all. There is another speculation that focused on her connections with celebrities that have fallen out of favor with Johnny Carson. The one celebrity that tops this list is Wayne Newton, and they didn't like each other. The reason that happened is because there were a lot of things they had disagreed upon in the past, and it got so worse that they refused to see each other's faces. Sadly for Lola, she was just too innocent for the world, and she had lots of connections with other celebrities. Maybe it was because of this, but she was fairly close with Wayne, and that might have gotten on Johnny Carson's nerves. How unfortunate is it that Lola had such a big hit in her career just because she was collateral that was caught in the crossfire of this high-profile skirmish? Lola Falana's absence from The Tonight Show became a crucial moment in her career, which ended up turning her from an unstoppable rise to fame to a star that was caught in a web of speculation and controversy. Even though she had to face widespread curiosity, the exact details were always mysterious, with Lola Falana and The Tonight Show team keeping quiet. It was very weird that even Lola wasn't clearing things up, and this lack of clarity fueled rumors and allowed speculation to run wild. Well, that's it for the speculations, and it's time we finally disclose to you the real reason why Lola Falana was banned from tonight's show. To understand this in depth, we first need to understand the characters that are affiliated with the scandal. The characters are the infamous Johnny Carson, Wayne Newton, and our innocent Lola Falana. In the lively world of entertainment, this is a common thing that famous personalities sometimes cross paths unexpectedly, and these encounters can lead to destructive results. It all started in 1980 when Wayne Newton was ruling everything as the star. He was commanding stages at various hotels and relaxing in the glow of his fortune as bright as the city lights. The lights of his fame were so bright that they could illuminate deserted cities. On the other side of Hollywood, we saw Johnny Carson, who served as NBC's figurehead and leading late-night television from 1962 to 1992. The Tonight Show was a legendary program, and it became legendary because of the reason that it was hosted by Carson. 
He not only dominated TV, but also was a cause behind NBC's financial success. Carson's influence was beyond television. It reached Las Vegas, where he owned a local TV station and occasionally showcased his comedic talents on the iconic strip. Millions of viewers tuned in to The Tonight Show every night, and they were greeted by the host whose humor, well, which was occasionally sharp, was mostly inoffensive. As we have told you before in our previous videos, Johnny Carson was a person who was lonely, loveless alcoholic, and his private persona stood in stark contrast to his public image. It was a common fact in the industry that Carson had the worst mood swings and quickness to take offense, which caused a lot of problems. The thing is that Newton had a six-decade career that began on Las Vegas stages in 1959. Even though he received lots of honors and widespread praise, but even he took offense sometimes. It happened when in a show, Johnny Carson called Wayne Newton a gay host in Las Vegas. This was a thing of great offense, and it was right for Wayne to be angry. There was a potential for a fistfight between Newton and Carson that added an unexpected twist to their relationship. This clash of personalities made a big show over the entertainment industry that was on the headlines for months. This episode in the entertainment industry had far-reaching effects that made Lola Falana's successful career a mess. She was tied up in high-profile conflicts and caught in the crossfire of powerful personalities. Lola found herself in an uncomfortable position due to her connection with Wayne Newton, which indirectly led to the unfolding drama surrounding her removal from The Tonight Show. In the competitive world of entertainment, it is a common fact that friendships and alliances can greatly influence one's professional journey, and Lola's close relationship with Newton played a crucial role in her unexpected banishment from the prestigious late-night program. Lola Falana and Wayne Newton's friendship was well known in entertainment circles, as it was a story of mutual admiration and shared artistic talents. Their paths crossed in the mid-1960s, which was an important time for Lola. It was the time when both artists were making their names in showbiz, as Lola was captivating people with her stage presence, and Newton was using his enchanting voice to woo his audience. Their bond resulted when they had to give joint performances on Las Vegas stages, and this ended up solidifying their friendship in the public eye. But this relationship ended bringing more trouble than benefit to Lola, due to Newton's furious relationship with Johnny Carson. It was common in the industry that loyalties can be short-lived and driven by self-interest, but Lola was not a common person. She was rare, and Lola's strong solidarity with Newton set her apart from others. She stood by him even when she had to face public ridicule and personal attacks, but she considered friendship as a powerful bond. Her ban from The Tonight Show became more than just a career setback. It became a chapter in the history of Hollywood that teaches new stars that you should be careful with whom you become friends with. While this association potentially had costs her the relationship with The Tonight Show, it also served as a source of strength and support for both Lola Falana and Wayne Newton. Her friendship with Newton was a double-edged sword that provided unwavering support, but it also imposed limitations in certain influential circles for Falana. The impact on Falana's career was not just black and white, it was apparent in all the shades of gray. She had to face the decrease in visibility in mainstream media, and the ban from The Tonight Show took away a vital platform for her to promote herself and reach a broader audience. This decline in visibility mirrored a drop in the momentum she had carefully built. This timing unfortunately coincided with the transformative period in the entertainment world during the late 1970s and early 80s, where lots of actors and performers were taking the spotlight and making themselves known to the world, and this worsened the impact. This era brought in new genres and stars that caused the reshaping of the industry's fabric, and Lola was not a part of it. For Falana to be absent from crucial platforms at crucial times meant more than a step back. It was an unintentional surrender of an active role that was supposed to shape her narrative. In an industry that is always driven by the constant pursuit of what's next, the results of the ban were more than just on one person. Lola Falana found herself at the center of a great shift, not just in her career but also in the show business landscape. Now it was up to her to overcome the trials or to just give up that would have caused her death as a star. As her story continues to develop, we see that it was a time that gave her something more than just the entry to tonight's show. It gave her character development. 
we saw that she went through a phase where the lively and pure Lola changed into a butterfly of wit and intelligence, but something more than that was that she refined her ability to never give up. The banishment from The Tonight Show was a great challenge that she endured in silence, but it also became a catalyst for her enduring spirit to handle the storm of controversy and come forward as proof of hard work in the entertainment world. The fading presence from the spotlight did not just cause her sales to go down, but it also caused her lips, which were always up and smiling, to go down, and this caused a noticeable decline in the energetic path of Lola Falana that she had carefully crafted over the years. As all good things finally come to an end, so did the time for Lola. She was always a lively character that received so much love and support all her life, but then just a simple mishap, and her life got out of her control. We can't even say that it went downhill because the way she fell was like there was no ground beneath her, and she was free falling to her death without a parachute. Just when she thought that life couldn't get worse after her ban from tonight's show, she faced a major change in her life in 1987. It wasn't a change, but another strike to the face by fate when Lola was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. This time, the opponent was not physical like Johnny Carson, but it was life itself. It felt like everyone in the world was against her and no one could help her, and it was right at this moment that made her see life differently. Can you imagine the Queen of Las Vegas who was once full of life, and now she is fighting one-on-one -on -one with a serious illness? The fight against multiple sclerosis began affecting Lola Falana's life so much that the entire left side of her body became paralyzed, and speech, hearing, and vision were now a luxury for her. Can you imagine that the lady who used to impress and bewitch her audiences with her dancing is now paralyzed? Can you see the woman who had the voice of an angel, and the one who stole all the hearts even as a kid can now not even talk? Her hearing was gone and her sight gone, what is she even for now? That is something a common person would think, and as we have told you earlier, Lola was rare. She kept fighting her disease for 18 whole months, and Lola went on a journey of impossible and inner strength where she confronted every challenge with grace and determination. Her battle against multiple sclerosis became not just a fight for her physical well-being but also a proof of her unwavering spirit and faith. Lola's strong spirit persevered, and her illness eventually went into remission. When you look back at her activities before the diagnosis, we can see Lola Falana in October 1989 where she shared her dedication to staying active. A big part of her performances included energetic dancing and her constant movement, singing, and lively expression defined her as a star who needed to shine brightly, sparkle with life, and give out boundless energy. She credited her recovery to a transformative force, the word God, as we recall the first encounter she had with the diagnosis. Although she was not very religious before now, Lola highlighted her reliance on her inner spirit for survival, which was also a source of strength that helped her face and overcome the challenges that were brought to her by the sneaky disease. She was unfazed by the intimidating nature of multiple sclerosis, and Lola Falana stood strong as she rooted in her newfound faith and the internal strength that had become the driving force behind her successful battle against the tough opponent. Lola found comfort and strength by turning to her deep-rooted faith, which was a constant companion throughout her life's journey. This period of introspection became a crucial chapter where her spiritual beliefs, which were once quiet in the background, took center stage and ended up guiding her through the countless challenges that were imposed by her due to her battle with illness. You will be surprised to know that Lola embraced Catholicism in a transformative move, and it was a decision that not only comforted her deeply, but also sparked a renewed sense of purpose in her journey. Her faith became a powerful force that propelled her towards a purposeful life that was full of dedication to charitable causes and religious advocacy beyond just finding comfort. She used her celebrity status to help others, and Lola shifted her focus to philanthropy and advocacy and ended up becoming a notable figure in raising awareness about multiple sclerosis. Despite the challenges posed by her health, her impact on the arts and her community remained substantial. Her journey became a proof and inspiration to strength that serves as a motivation for those facing similar challenges. She took on the role of a dedicated advocate for people who are trying to find the true path when they are thrown into the hell of multiple sclerosis especially those who refuse to be limited by their diagnosis. 
In a memorable performance in the spring of 1989, she shared the stage with Wayne Newton at the Las Vegas Hilton, where she delivered a heartfelt version of Proud Mary. In July of the same year, we saw her miraculous return to the Las Vegas stage, where she defied the worries of club owners who were hesitant to book her because they feared that there was going to be a potential relapse. The August 1989 issue of Jet Magazine captured the depth of her comeback that detailed her first reservation at the Sands Hotel, where in a touching moment with her audience, she declared, I'm not cured, but I'm healed. These words of wisdom are now used as mottos for people who are trying to get their lives back in their control. Lola is now 81 years old with a total net worth of $10 million. She just had her comeback and hopefully we will see a lot of her in the future.